Okay, group number one, if you have been drawn to goddess Tai Chi, uh, the Greek goddess of fortune. So let's see what is the blessing that is coming your way. Uh, group number one, what goddess Tai Chi is blessing you with, what fortune you're getting, okay? So group number one, blessings coming your way. What are you going to be blessed with? Blessings, group number one. Silence, for some of you, silence is a blessing. Yeah, I'm getting like a blessing that you don't have to prove yourself anymore. You can be silent and people will understand you. Silence, like you don't have to argue, nothing. You're in silence and everything is working out. Like that's the energy, like the blessing of silence. Maybe you want that. Or maybe if you are in an environment where there is a lot of loud noise, or an argument you're getting out of that environment so blessing of silence maybe moving out to a place where there's a lot of silence the neighborhood is quiet you can sleep properly there is no so much of noise right for some of you it can be people who don't understand you 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 have to prove to them no need anymore you're moving out of that energy now you can be in your own energy enjoying your life like that's the energy i'm getting silence is there i'm seeing the view of a beach and a person is just enjoying their time there they are clicking photos and just laughing they're just playing with the waves that's the energy they can be themselves and there is a lot of quietness like the quietness that you want it doesn't mean that um you will not have anyone to talk to. That's not what it is with the silence. I'm getting you're going to be with people who really value you, care for you, rather than being with people who who just don't understand you and there is a lot of back and forth, talking, not understanding. It's difficult, right? So you're getting out of that energy here. So let's see. What is the blessing here? Okay. Wow, look, we have uh, the butterfly. Something is changing that is bringing a lot of abundance for you. This can be a change in residence, a change in place, uh, a change in the way you see yourself, a change in the way that uh, others see you because you are seeing yourself in a different way. Yeah, I feel like you are getting out of that energy that you have to prove yourself to someone. You're getting out of that energy. You're feeling worthy that as I am, I'm worthy. Like that kind of mindset you're coming. And that is that is a mind, mindset that is going to give you a lot of abundance in return. That is going to heal you in a way. That is going to grow you in a way. Because once we start trying too hard to prove ourselves to other people, that's when we are not, uh, not authentic because we are doing it for someone else. We are not doing it for ourselves. But you are going to change that. I feel like that. Now you are like, if it doesn't matter to me why I am doing it, right? So you are going to focus on what matters to you, what you want to grow in your life. And that's what it is going to give you that uh, silence right in a way like your mind is also going to be silent you don't have to think what others are thinking of you and perform in that way you can be you listening to your heart and your heart is guiding you in a way that gives you a lot of comfort you're listening to it and you're doing it so there is a big mindset shift I'm seeing here and that is why you will be letting go of a lot of people in your life who are not uh, giving you the same value that you give to them. So, for example, in a relationship, maybe you had this mindset that I have to prove myself to this person, I have to please this person, I have to do everything for this person, right? And the person is not doing anything. So it's too much of work. You're getting out of that mindset. Like, I'm worthy to receive the love that I'm giving. So if I'm giving love and if I'm not getting anything back, bad, sorry, back, <laughs> That's not worth it. So I'm just leaving that situation. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, it's like the word I'm worthy, worthy, worthy. Yeah, worthy. That's what that's coming up. You're you're in this energy where you're feeling like yes, I'm worth more, more than this, right? I don't have to be here. I'm worth more than this. So I see you leaving a situation completely, leaving a person completely, and. And because you're leaving that situation, there is so much silence, so much of peace 
it feels good and you are just enjoying your life and you don't have to think too much that's what the blessing is here okay so let's see group mm, number one tai chi and as you leave this place you will be feeling more lucky as well because you will be vibrating very high you know when we are with negative people the people who don't understand we also be pick up on that energy and we become negative as well so uh, i feel like as you let go of that a place you're going to be in your energy not at other people's energy right uh, and and even if you're being if even if you're leaving these people and if you're going to another place though that place i feel like it's very positive for you guys it's healthy for you yeah so let's see we have honor of light yeah it feels like you have started to honor yourself you have started to value your own light how much you give to other people sometimes we don't value that how much we are giving to other people we feel like we are not doing enough because sometimes if we are with people who are like energy vampires they are going to take take more and more and more they are going to tell us that you are not doing enough they are because they are getting so much and they don't have to do they are not doing the bare minimum and they are making you do everything and then when when you're tired and exhausted and you ask for something they're like oh my god you're not doing enough right it's it's some it's like someone is taking away your light from you it's taking away the glow in your eyes from you and your eyes are now dead right that's the energy where someone is sucking your soul out of you that you're away from these people now you can shine your light because you are honoring your light, light. that's why you're shining this is like a decision that you're making like i'm more than this i am not here for this i don't want to argue to this person i'm more than this and i can get out of it like you're like feeling that worth like i don't have to stay here i can choose silence over this argument i'm so worthy i i i i'm i'm so worthy uh, yeah it feels like that worth you're feeling like i'm not here for this i cannot sell myself short for this you're finally realizing that because everything is a mindset game right i feel like when we are in the right mind we make better decisions so i feel like it feels like something is clicking in you and you're like no i don't want to do this anymore it's sucking my life my spirit like it's like my spirit is uh, he's take he or she is taking my spirit or this person is taking my spirit out of me and i'm feeling like spiritless right i'm not i'm i'm, I'm feeling like my light is not there so it can be a situation that is taking and you're like i need to take my power back i need to take my light i need to honor my light and uh, i'm worthy wherever i am i'm right now i'm doing enough and i know that i'm worthy and that mindset mindset shift is going to give you a lot of healing growth um silence peace comfort okay and you will feel lucky as well i feel like that okay because you are going to be with, away from these people and your life will be good because you are away from these kinds of energies so let's see and you got the butterfly and have butterfly ring today <laughs> okay so let's see um uh group number 1 tai chi group tai chi got a message blessing will is blessing coming your way we have death oh this is the end of something for sure maybe you've seen bones recently bone bone like something has to end something is ending then something has decomposed in your life nothing it's just bones now no use it can be relationship it can be a situation that is sucking the light of light of of you we have number 42 and 44 43 so it's like leveling up endings and this can be emotional ending as well maybe you have invested many years on this thing so it is going to be emotional but you know that it's not worth it if you're going to st stay any more you are going to just lose everything like you will lose yourself you will lose your own light and you're like i need to honor myself and this mindset shift you, it feels like you will realize your own potential you will realize your own strength your own light how much you're giving and you're like i'm ready to end this thing i'm ready to leave and i'm choosing silence over this argument and that's exactly i'm saying that's what it is for some of you here uh, i feel like a situation will happen where things will end this person will live your life or the situation will go or maybe maybe something will happen where you will you will have to live leave this situation and as you leave the situation you will feel like oh my god this is so so good this is so good or maybe this is a unexpected guest who uh, who stayed too much in your house getting out of your house and you were like oh my god finally my house is back 
finally the silence is back finally the happiness is back finally the positive energy is back because if there is a person who comes in your home and spread that negativity it affects everyone and i feel like that negative energy is leaving yeah okay so let's see group number one tai chi goddess what is the blessing here what else for sure you're leaving a negative situation and you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel that's for sure so let's see we have the ace of pentacles this is the beginning of new thing for some of you leaving an old job getting a new job uh, that is paying you well that is honoring your gift that's honoring your uh, skills your it feels like you will be excited to go to job because this job is like that where you you are meeting good people there is a lot of light or maybe this is something that you really love to do maybe you're curing your job and doing something that is that really honor your light that is very authentic to you so again something something you're leaving behind but yeah when you will leave you will feel that little bit of emotions but as you move forward you will be like oh my god thank god that chapter is over and i'm so revealed relieved sorry i'm sorry for that i'm so happy i mean i can breathe properly now uh, and yeah i'm shining that's the energy we have the butterfly again here okay so something is ending something is beginning here and this new beginning is going to make you very happy we have all look that's the energy ten of swords you're leaving something you have been again this eight of cups energy is someone who doesn't leave things very very easily sometimes they hesitate to leave the cup because they have built something right they're hesitating but they know that they cannot stay there they cannot stay there the situation is not working out in their favor they know that but they try again try again try again then there came come a situation where you, they're like no nothing is going to work out i know it it's like i got to end this thing and that's it that's it you're ending something with this ten of swords it has been very heavy for you guys but that chapter of your life is over here things are getting better for you guys you're going to see more light more silence as i mentioned silence peace comfort uh yeah wherever you were struggling before that struggle is over and you're going to see this new beginning something has completely gone gone from your life yeah that's not going to come it's decomposed something has decomposed completely now you only the uh, only again with this 10 of swords is like you're only going to go up because you have hit rock bottom now you're going to just go up here so we have 10 of swords with this ace of pentacles i will just change it because this is like this only and all that okay so yeah so we have the death we have the 10 of swords so this is like a very tough situation that is ending here for you guys very tough very tough situation this can be a very tough situation with a person a job situation uh, uh, uh you know someone you were tackling with uh, it was really bad really bad i feel like finally it's ending as i mentioned silence you are all you wanted that silence in your life and finally you're getting it here yeah, you're moving you tried too hard to stay you tried your best you don't you, I, i feel like as you move forward you will you will have no regrets only the regret you will have is like i why i didn't let it go early that's it so yeah so what is the blessing from goddess tai chi for group number 1 tai chi blessing yeah transformation look this is a huge transformation <laughs> look in this the mouse uh, has changed the ro uh, roles the raven is small now and the mouse is big so the game is changing now someone who has taken control over you you are taking that control back you are not giving your control to the situation to this place this person not anymore you are transforming you are choosing yourself we have the red butterfly we please check the symbolism of red butterfly uh, something was controlling out of uh, you know you yeah so someone was making you feel like you have to do more than you should do right uh, yes and giving you less in return you were doing more but you were getting in less and they this person was making you feel like that you deserve that much only but then this click happens like i deserve more i know that i deserve more i'm worthy for more you're understanding that that mindset shift is making you leave something that you was you were trying to build and there came a point you're like no i cannot do this anymore and you're leaving it that is what this is the transformation and now, now the rules have changed you have taken your power Uh, with this tiny triumph the triumph is like you are winning like you're letting go of the situation and where where 
in, the, in this place you were small like you were like the mouse and this raven was controlling a big i'm getting that energy but now the roles have reversed now you are taking control and you're leaving by leaving this situation you're taking your light back your that's your triumph here that's the lesson okay wow <laughs> what happened i'm sorry okay so let's move on to the deck and that deck is all messy so yeah you're getting out of this messy situation here a messy situation and this person that maybe this is a person you're dealing with or a situation or boss i don't know a friend it was messy this me you're over this messy situation you're leaving this messy situation you're leaving towards uh you're going towards silence growth healing yeah something has completely decomposed nothing is there anymore okay so let's see we have we have two uh, three cards here we have the wolf and rose hip guardianship and bashfulness and then we have independence look again this can be a person who fee uh, makes you feel like that they are they, they are your guardian that they want their want your best that they no best and then any chance they get they will be very very rude to you they will tell you that how uh, not worthy you are like how you cannot do a lot of things that how much small you are like making you feel like that you're not good enough that's that kind of situation you're leaving and look again the independence you're taking your power back your control back and you're like i'm worthy i'm worthy it doesn't matter what you think about me me i'm worthy yeah again this is like a situation you know there are some people who are very hard to please no matter how hard you try they're going to find different ways so maybe they will say do this and you do it then they will find some fault in that and tell you that that you're not good enough like you're realizing like this is like a losing game i'm not going to win even if i satisfy whatever that person wants they're going to find something else to make me feel like that i'm not good enough and you're like i'm over this situation this person is not my guardian this person is doesn't care about me or this yeah, again this feels like a person as well for some of you or or maybe you thought that uh, yeah uh, or a situation it's not protecting me i need to just get get out of it and choose my independence and that's exactly your way even if you're alone for a while you're okay with it it's better to be with these kind of people it's better to be alone with these better than sorry it's better to be alone than to be with these kinds of people for the name of being with people i don't want these people like that's the energy and you're taking your power back that independence back you're setting boundaries and you're leaving something that you have hesitated for a very long time i feel that and that is that is your blessing you will feel so good and you will be like oh, why i didn't do it all in that's the energy your mind mind is changing this is a mindset shift it feels like so let's see the final message okay we have a dream wow dream Oh, some of you, you have already gotten this message in your dream. This is just a confirmation. You have felt like you need to let go of something. That this is not my true love. This is not. Maybe if this is a person you're like, this is not my true love. This is not where I'm meant to be. This is not my uh, job. Maybe this is not my dream. Maybe this was a dream that you wanted and you got it, and then it was bad. You know, sometimes it happens to many people. They feel like this is what they want in life. and they get their dream fulfilled and then after some days they're like oh my god this is not what i wanted or maybe it's like a person you, you it was your dream to be with this person and then you finally get into a relationship with this person and then as this relationship progresses you're like oh my god this is not what i wanted I, I, so the concept right again being with that person was so important that you let go of the concept right sometimes marriages is like the feeling that we want we want equal relationship Uh, we want to be loved to be cherished it's not about the person how if, if that person is tall or good looking that doesn't matter so a lot of mindset shift is changing here you are like it's it's i just want that feeling to be protected to be safe in the arms of the guardian who really really like a guardian who really really motivates you inspires you not a person who just ba is bashful rude right or oh, doesn't uh, acknowledge you so again it can be like dream relationship you are understanding it's not a dream anymore this is not something i want and you are taking your power back and leaving this person so it's like a dream that it was a dream and i feel like this was your dream that came through and the real reason why you were hesitating to let it go because you thought that this is for you so you tried you tried you tried and it took it sucked all your light away from you and then you there came a point where you're like no this is not my dream this is not good this doesn't feel right this is not my path i am leaving it 
you're leaving a situation guys and that is a blessing for you guys that's that's the message from goddess tai chi for you guys hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if you have been drawn to the goddess lakshmi goddess of prosperity lakshmi then let's see what is uh, lakshmi ma blessing you with a uh, group number 2 what is the blessing coming your way what is the fortune that is coming your way group number 2 so let's see uh i i'm getting like spiritual spiritual growth blessing of spiritual growth uh, for some of you if you are already working to build your intuition i see that your intuition is also going to become more stronger yeah for some of you you are finally realizing your spiritual gifts uh you are realizing your own potential that is a blessing uh your strength how how capable you are you are realizing that a kind of realization is happening where you are realizing that yes i can do this i can do that right i'm i'm good enough right i'm capable um yeah wow look we have the wheel of fortune and the ring and again there is circle here things are coming full circle here for you guys something is completing you're reaching a milestone that's for sure and yes this is a huge milestone that you're going to reach and as you reach that huge milestone you will be like feeling ah, i'm so worthy to have this thing that's what i'm getting here uh yeah because i did so much you will be so happy about yourself your growth you're going to be happy the way you dealt with all the challenges you will look back and you will look that your past version and you you will see that past version struggles challenges and how this past version of you has faced all this had the faith and came out and become this person you will be so so happy that your past version worked so hard so you can be this version uh I, I, yeah that's what i'm getting because you are someone this is like the past version lakshmi was talking about the past version of you that didn't waver when things went out of hand yes there were times you cried there were times you didn't know what to do there were times everything got of, out of your hand but you didn't give in to that you didn't you didn't give in to that um that frustration those challenges maybe for some time you might but you pulled back from that and you took your power back you trusted in divine and i feel like uh, lakshmi goddess is so so proud of you uh, uh for doing that so that's why you're going to see so much of happiness growth abundance in your life here it, it, it is just i'm getting like this past version of you and this new version of you is like very different but this new version uh, of you is really acknowledging this past version of you because th th this past version didn't have that much uh, understanding that much awareness but even when this past version of you didn't have that much understanding it didn't give up it had that belief that things will work out right it just uh, that past version of you trusted immensely in divine when no one and i feel like when no one trusted your past version you trusted yourself and and you're going to move forward you're going to get that happiness and all a uh, fulfillment you're getting this milestone things are working out in your favor and you will look back and you will be like oh my god thank you thank you my past version for making my dreams come true it, it, it's that kind of a feeling i'm feeling and you will feel so blessed to be that past version because of that past version you are now this person Yeah, there are many times when we uh, look at old memories or photographs, we feel like, oh my God, wow, wow, what I was doing, like, yeah, I'm not seeing that for you. You will be looking at your photograph and you will be so proud of that past portion because of that work she did or he did. That's why now you are here. I don't know. The Lakshmi Ma is talking about that past version of you. You're going to be blessed for the dedication that your past version did. So now you're going to have a lot of things because your past version. Uh, did go through a lot of challenges a lot of tests and passed it and now things are coming full circle for you guys and you will look back and you will see why you had to go through a lot of challenges because this is the version you have become right and now you're you have a lot of awareness and you were like yes i needed that 
I needed to deal with that person because I had to learn my lot about myself. It, it, it is like it's, things are coming full circle. You're connecting the dots as well. And that will that is like a blessing for you. I feel like that because you're connecting the dots. You're understanding so much about yourself. Because you're realizing if I, would, if I wouldn't have gone through that situation, I wouldn't have learned so much about myself. So I needed that in my life. And you're realizing it. I, and... And I feel like Lakshmi was telling you that's a blessing to realize all that, to see that. Uh, again, I'm getting that you will feel like blessed, blessed that your past version did all that work, something like that. Okay, so that's something is what I'm getting here, like with uh, Lakshmi Ma. Okay, so let's see what else here. What is the blessing for you guys? Group number two. Okay, so that's a lot. Oh, we're getting like lion and tiger. <laughs> yeah, you're coming uh, in your full, you're, you're awakening your um, uh, untapped potential. You're, you're becoming the best version of you. That's what I'm getting. Uh, so it's about you guys. You're realizing a lot about yourself, your gifts, your talents. You're understanding that how much of a potential you carry. Uh, your aura is so beautiful. You're understanding so much. And I'm getting that. Uh, confidence you're yeah you're getting in this energy of confidence where you're shining you you're realizing that you're uh, you're worthy of anything right you can achieve anything that kind of feeling i'm getting here okay so let's see for lakshmi ma it's about you i feel like um okay so we have uh, the uh, blessings from the son of the Hana Panch Pacha. Hana Pacha. Pacha. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Then we have the number 18. Yes, nine number. It reduces to nine number. I feel like you have forgiven yourself for the past mistake. You have forgiven other people. You have compassion for the, uh, for the people who, um, didn't, uh, yeah, who didn't work in your best interest. You have compassion for that people because you see why they are struggling. You can see everything now very, very clearly. You see what other people don't see. You see the aspects of other people that they don't see. So it's very easy for you to forgive now. You're forgiving the past people because you are understanding sometimes these people come in our life to make us realize our strengths. And yes, they are also dealing with a lot of things. And you can see why they are doing even though it's not good for us, what they're doing is negative, but you're seeing that very, very clearly why they do, why they did that thing. So it's, it's now you're in this, you're in this place now, you can forgive them very easily before you were not able to forgive. And as you forgive, as you find that, as you, as you give that compassion to these people, you know, don't, you don't have to meet these people and give that compassion. You can just energetically give that compassion, right? Maybe you will not be meeting these people in your life. But you have forgiven them completely. You have let go of that com them completely. You have compassion for them because you are understanding why they did that, right? You have that deep awareness, and that's that's re you're releasing you're releasing so much from your past. I really really feel like that. The, the past is no longer there. Now you're creating a beautiful future for yourself that is going to be so abundant. And that's why I'm getting this past version and the new version of you. There's a vast difference between this past version and new version. The past version might have struggled to forgive this person, but this new version of you has completely forgiven them. You understand them. Even if you're going to meet them again, you're not going to take anything from them anymore. You might smile to them, you might talk to them, but you will not be, if they say anything, do anything, it is not going to affect you at all. Because now you know where they are coming from. That is that. So you can show that compassion to them. And maybe maybe that's what the hardest part was for the past version of you. But now this new version of you who, yeah, has no problem with it. Yeah. Again, this can be with confidence issues as well. Maybe the past version really struggled with confidence. Now you are like looking in the eye straight talking. Because you know that you are. Like again, it feels like this sense of self you yeah you have the sense of self you're so aware of yourself you're so aware of the surroundings you know who you are you know how to be uh, how to show up right how to dress up how to be confident how to look in the eye and share what you need to share because you know you know a lot of things right so that's the energy it's like a person this new version of you is like this confident you who has a lot of compassion empathy 
for other people they can understand if you are holding a conversation with someone you can know where they are coming from so not taking things personally anymore maybe your past version has struggled with that you, you the past version of you always took th- things personally but this new version of you is not taking that it doesn't take things personally it just understands oh yeah that's why they are going they might be going through something so that's why they are saying this and 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 it's like you are also in this understanding like reality is a mirror right that kind of understanding so if something wrong goes you're like what i'm thinking right now what i'm doing right now you like just reflect back to yourself and then you know what it is and you change it and things flow so i feel like oh my god this is like all the blessings you want you're going to get because of the self awareness and realizations you have and you're re- really releasing your past you're forgiving people so look forward for a beautiful beautiful life here i'm getting that i'm getting like you are tending to your inner garden and you are you're giving all the nourishment to your inner garden and as you nourish your inner garden that is what your outer reality is so blessings from all the sides you're getting every side <laughs> you're going to be so blessed that's the energy here oh god okay so let's see what else for lakshmi uh, ma group what's the message what is the blessing okay so you have the black hound loyalty and knowledge oh okay we have to cover this wait a second so we have the number 34 number 33 number 34 okay so number 3 33 yes again one thing you know if you look at this card this is a little bit black and this is green color right sometimes uh, knowledge and knowledge can change your life right isn't it sometimes we are not so aware of lot of things and we because of the lack of knowledge we make so much mistakes here uh, yeah we sometimes because of the lack of knowledge we repeat the same cycle and now as i mentioned you're becoming someone who is loyal to themselves again what is loyal what is again the loyalty to yourself means you are not afraid to confront your own shadow side so if something is like if something is not happening your way you are not afraid to confront like what is my behavior that is not working out what i should change what is my thinking pattern that i need to work on so you're loyal to that that aspect and you're like deep diving within yourself understanding a lot about yourself you're not it really feels like this this group you have already come a long way as i mentioned you have learned so much about yourself but there are more aspects of you because life is like that only we will learn so much about ourselves if we have to come to our potential we we have we have to keep learning and keep growing so that dedication is what i'm seeing here you're not afraid to to dedicate uh, yeah to dedicate to life long life long learning that's something i'm getting here so as you learn more about yourself you learn more about other people as well as you learn about your own habits uh like why you do certain things yeah you understand it and i feel like certain things are not good for us sometimes certain habits the way of thinking and you you understand that and you shift it so as you shift your inner self right as you work on your shadow side as you uh, as you keep working as you're loyal to yourself as you keep working on that you see people match that vibration right so as you're working as you're letting go of the shadow side you're going to meet people who matches your vibe so your experience as you're uh, as you're working with, yeah with the shadow improving yourself every day not being afraid to improve yourself you know whenever something happens you understand you reflect you gain the knowledge you gain the wisdom you don't repeat the same mistakes you're very loyal to yourself you you're very loyal to be that authentic person i feel like that you want to be that authentic person so mean that means sometimes our shadow will come and we have to face it and you keep doing it and what i'm getting is like as you do it you learn so much from yourself and those that knowledge you share it with other people and this knowledge is not is not only going to give you that goodness it's going to help other people as well right so again it feels like you are going to learn so much about yourself that will really really help other people as well so there is like yeah because through your experiences you can help other people isn't it 
so that's something i'm getting here you are going to be loyal to yourself you 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 will have you are like becoming that authentic person i see that yeah okay so let's see more wow look queen of this is who you are becoming queen of wands she is intuitive she is passionate she is brave she is intelligent yet she is so she is so courageous she is someone is like looks when she is going to do something she looks the bigger picture rather than the small small picture she looks at the bigger picture she knows what, when to take action when is the right time she is so confident in herself she is so generous she has so much to offer because she gives so much to herself so once she starts once you start giving to yourself divine pours and there is so much there is no lack there is only this prosperous thinking so once a person is this, in this prosperous thinking they are going to get amazing ideas they are going to get uh, amazing results in their life and they are they are going to be showered with uh, blessings they are going to get that wealth and as they are getting it they are they are giving it to other people they are not holding it tightly anymore they generously giving it because they know that that once you start giving you will get it you don't have to hold back anything you're not holding anything anymore you're becoming this confident person who is generously giving who is sharing uh, their wisdom knowledge money whatever it is and as you do it and as you as you open your heart and give 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 with your full heart you're getting it back so i feel like a person the person you're becoming is like that confident version of you is coming out you're becoming your best version and that's queen of wands she's intuitive she's passionate she knows her value she knows her worth she's going to get whatever she wants she gives oh beautiful okay so let's see what else she's knowledgeable as well she has so much to offer so with this ace of pentacles i feel like you're going to do something that really really uh, you're passionate you're going to do something that you love and you're going to make money out of it and as you do something that is your authentic right this is something that you very you love it you're authentic about it you don't compromise on that thing and as you as you share that with other people you're going to get so much money so much wealth prosperity is like opening for you guys here so we have the high priestess energy this is you high priestess queen of wands right you are not afraid to dwell into the darkness of you so you, as we delve into the darkness as we uh, you know go inside the darkness of us we get the light we can release the darkness as we confront our shadow we can understand oh this is my shadow aspect i can work on it and i can release it you're exactly doing that that's why you're becoming this light like you're you're coming you're you're becoming a person who's full of shine okay so let's see what else oh sunny day again the sun the observer look the observer this is what i was talking about you look at the aspects when other people miss certain things you are going to look at so you're not going to things uh you're going not you're not going to say thing uh, see things but uh, say sorry you're not going to take things personally so again with this oh sunny day you know that how you feel about yourself how you see things that's how your day is going to work out right no one has control over you anymore you're not going to be uh, controlled by other people media no 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 you are so connected to your heart that you know what's good for what's good for you what's not good for you you're becoming your own luck right the way you think the way you are optimistic that's all going to create so much of good luck in your life here so sunny days warmth joy that's what you are manifesting happiness so and you're healing your inner child you're becoming the best version of you that's what the blessing is and you will be so proud of yourself of course in a balanced way because you're not afraid to deep dive into yourself to confront your shadow side not everyone does that right so let's see so we have look we have the snake the snake that is shedding its skin and we have starting over right again this is like that old version i was talking about that the old version of you is far behind now but that old version that old skin has taught you so much you know what you don't have to do you know what you have to do more 
right it's like that all the lies the ego everything has been taken out and now you're becoming this this real version of you uh, that you're meant to be who is very connected to their own self you're going to be so loyal to yourself and once a person is loyal to themselves you're going to find that loyalty outside of you and you are you are a very loyal person you're really a very loyal person so yeah that's so i am getting okay so this is like beautiful letting go of that conditioning right taking your power back and doing something that that you like not just following the group becoming a leader and as you live your life according to your terms you're going to influence so many people around you that's the blessing you are you are a blessing so let's see the final message wow look serenity peace serenity happiness joy fulfillment dreams coming true <sighs> you're going to you you're going to enjoy your life because because the work that you're doing because of your work because you're not afraid to confront your shadow because you're not afraid to deep dive into yourself to know more about yourself to cut the fears right to to be loyal to yourself to be confident to forgive people to not take take things personally it's like you're doing all that that's why okay so that is a blessing to you guys from lakshmi ma hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up also so bye bye i've been drawn to the yellow tara ma or vasudhara uh, so let's see what is the message here from the goddess of prosperity wealth uh, she is also known as golden tara ma vasudhara yellow tara okay so let's see what is the message uh, for you guys uh, what is she blessing you with okay so let's start with the charms oh i'm seeing a dog <laughs> a dog and dog means loyalty trust companionship okay so let's see oh i'm just hearing opposites attract opposites attract so like a dog and a cat or a dog and a bear something like that opposites are going to attract so a very awesome companionship for some of you uh, this companion uh, this this person is going to unlock something in you that you never even thought you had so yeah and uh, uh, maybe it's this is like a uh, amazing friendship amazing business partner or amazing mentor right it can be a relationship as well but this this person is going to show you the aspects of you that you never thought you had yeah some sort of your qualities you're going to get a lot of compliments from this person this person is going to uh, again the the things that you never thought you're good at they are going to show you like how you how good you are at certain things and you will be like oh yeah i am no one said that before Uh, yeah this person is going to look again we have this key and this sun this person is like that the key key opens the door and when we start opening the door we can see different things right and like the sun sun is something that is full of light like it shows things it clears things right so something that has been hidden in, in you someone is coming in your life and showing you the hidden aspects of you that either you have suppressed or you're so you are so afraid that you're not showing it so this person is going to show you that you don't have to be afraid anymore and you can you can show that to other people so something like that it's about you here yeah that's the blessing and you 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 will feel very safe and protected with this person and you you will feel like yeah right now i'm ready to show this part of me maybe if you know in the past something happened that's why you stopped you suppress that part of you that part of you you're going to let it out now so i'm getting that kind of now you are safe to let that real version of you out you have been hiding you cannot hide anymore and that's what it is you have been hiding for a very long time you've been hiding something that whatever you are hiding is coming into light you cannot hide anymore for some of you this is something that you were not aware of you were not even aware of that you had this thing you've been shown that very clearly now you cannot cannot hide hide it anymore you now you are 
going to show it to the world or for some of you as i mentioned someone is making you realize about yourself they're going either they will trigger you this can be a relationship that will trigger you and when you're getting triggered you will know something that you have to heal and you have to release so you can become this version you know sometimes we do that again the cat energy is like the hiding energy i'm getting here cats hide whenever they are in fear they hide um and uh, and they are also someone who has very strict boundaries also they are not very like dogs they are not like dogs right they are very different um yeah uh, they are they hide they they are not they don't open up to new people very fast they take their time again something like that um with this cat you have become like a cat but really you are not a cat <laughs> again it feels like a person who has been extrovert something happened now they are an introvert now they are labeling themselves as in, in an introvert and then this person comes into their life and this is just an example i'm not saying that i'm not labeling you an introvert or extrovert this is just an example that i'm getting like a person who has been very very cheery when they were young something happened and they start stop stopped uh, talking too much they just became silent and they had very strict boundaries they built a lot of walls and now this person is coming and knocking on their door and like again you're opening your heart to this person and this person is making you realize that maybe you have just uh, made yourself a different person because of the circumstances and this is not the real you and now the real you is coming out that's for the blessing as here so someone is uh, yeah again it it feels like you're becoming uh, the person you were always sometimes something happens we lose ourselves you're coming back to you and for some of you as i mentioned this person is going to show you the aspects of you that that you never thought you had to change some certain habits of yours they will be showing that you you will know that i had need to work on it right something like that it's going to be a blessing here so let's see this person the situation whatever it is it can be a situation it can be a person as well uh, but it's going to show you the real you something you have been missing about yourself you're not seeing the true side of you you're going to see that okay so group number 3 so we have the time to cross the threshold yeah you cannot live the old life anymore it's time to cross the threshold we have the number 19 again the 19 the sun card in the tarot right the shine so it can be like the child in you had hid, hid, hidden something you know sometimes when we go through traumas or certain difficult situation in life as a child we suppress a lot of things about ourselves and whatever you have suppressed now it's going to come come out right one by one one by one so you now now you cannot stay where you have been staying you have to make that jump you you, you have to cross that threshold here you have to change lord so again uh, it, this can be like something happened in your childhood and so you you know you had to adapt to that so that's why you changed something in you and you started living as a different person right and now you are understanding that was not me i just adapted according to my situation i became like this because of my situation right this is not the real me and yes you have been going for a while like that but now you cannot you cannot you have to cross it now you have to become that version that you are you were always right when you were born you were born with so much potential but yes circumstances happened lot of things happened so you just adapted to certain things that was not good for you and you just kept doing it what uh, was right at that time but that that was not the real you so now you're going to see things very very clearly for you guys this is like a blessing in disguise i would say it is going to be a little bit difficult i feel like that resurfacing of the old memories resurfacing of emotion is like things will be bubbling up coming up and you will be like why i'm thinking so much about my past why i'm feeling this emotional why are these all things are coming coming because you might have thought that you have healed certain things of your life and that's coming back again it's coming for a reason or maybe there will be someone in your life they will come and they will trigger something in you and you will get triggered and you will like why i'm getting triggered now i had thought that i healed this thing and this is coming up again because it's going to show you something it's because you have been hiding away from something you have been suppressing something right even though you thought that you healed it 
but you maybe you didn't or maybe for some of some of you this is coming up you didn't even touch it you were so afraid to touch that part of you it's coming up it's really you know when when those kinds of past memories those emotions resurface when it bubbles up it's going to be difficult sometimes but it's like a blessing in disguise so you can just cross that and you can become that version that you were always right you were a person you you were born with so much potential you yeah again it feels like in order to survive you took a personality that was not even yours you become a person that you were not even yours and now you cannot continue to go like this you cannot it's time to cross the threshold it's time to become the real you and and no more compromises on that on this real you so it's time so things are going to be very clear for you guys you're getting the blessing of clarity you're going to see why you became this person why you adapted to that situation why you why you are like this now right maybe this is not the real you and now someone is triggering you something so you can become the version of you that you were always right but life happened so you had to take that and you became someone else so that's that's the message here okay so let's see um we look at a map so what is the blessing is blessing here so you have diversity and you have protection wow okay you're going to find the parts of yourself that you <laughs> you didn't even know you you had because you suppressed it so hard and you were protected you're safe look again look again fear because of the fear some was yeah again when a child when a child is in a fear it, it really feels like you that it it feels like this is a, some this is not you this is not the real you some other part of you is like that that's what it came it, it that's what i'm feeling here a child again it can be like a mother figure who was very very strong uh, very very scary maybe you had a very rough childhood for some of you or maybe this was a teacher figure Uh, that was scary and because in order to uh, you know survive yes because you yeah you had to survive so you became someone else so you you could protect yourself yeah in order to protect you became someone else that you were not the you were not that person you had to protect yourself so as a child because of that fear that bubbly cheerful side of you vanished like you suppressed it and you became someone else who is like not talking to people uh, like yeah again that's the energy i would say again a person who has been extrovert who is who is very bubbly chubbly uh, you know ch chubbly what i said sorry <laughs> a bubbly uh, kind of voice and very cheeky like goofy and uh, something happened in their life and they, they just that that part they suppressed that part and that other version came out that was right not smiling and not not laughing afraid to laugh afraid to be themselves uh, they 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 were very aware of the surroundings they were always conscious about who, what they're talking uh, they were very afraid to talk so again it feels like um they became someone else this is what i'm feeling here very very strongly you were not this person something happened some traumas happened and you became in order to protect yourself you just adapted to the situation and you became someone else that was not the real you and now you cannot you cannot be that person anymore like now the real you has to come out you have to cross the threshold something is going to be triggered i'm getting a little bit of uncomfortable energy a lot is going to resurface it's going to be a little bit heavy i'm getting a little bit emotional but it's for your own best it's like a this blessing in disguise so maybe a person is going to trigger a situation is going to trigger but one thing you can you are assured that you will be protected you will be safe you are safe you are protected to become that authentic version that you were always yeah you don't have to you don't have to protect yourself anymore you will be protected and you are you yes you can be the real you it's time to become that real you okay you have been hiding you don't have to hide anymore you can come out of the closet and be the be the real you do you don't have to adapt according to other people because of fear you can do you do what you want to do right yes 
um we have nine of pentacles oh god it goes very well with nine of pentacles because nine of pentacles is a person who takes care of themselves who who does what yeah who, this is nine of pentacles sometimes they can be like a selfish person right they can be in that's a uh, they can be in this energy of selfishness i feel like that and the reason why i'm saying is that you have adapted according to other people's need you have become a person yeah you you really i'm getting like you have become a person who has let go of their their real you so you can you can adapt to other people's need or something like that right you did that but not anymore now you're becoming a version of you with this nine of pentacles whose needs are their top most priority so your needs are first on the list and then only other people's need and that's how you're going to recover yourself it it feels like recovering yourself becoming that version of you that you were because you got so lost so you just adapted and you became someone else now it's it's like you no longer no longer you can be and yeah you are like wearing someone's else dress it's not even you it's like a different identity or something like that now it's time to become the real you that's what is happening and with this nine of pentacles who you are what do you want what do you like it's all about you now taking care of yourself loving yourself and it's safe now you can do it now so you can work on your skills what what you like how you want to live your life it's all about you so that's what is happening now okay so we um let's see what else here <laughs> look look at the energies empress yeah and look who are you becoming here so as i said you cannot stay in this old life of yours your old life is falling apart and you're going to this new life right you're crossing the threshold and you're going into this new life and as you go into this new life lot will be resurfacing lot emotions you have to let go of but don't worry because you are going to be in this energy you, where are you going you're becoming this empress this nine of pentacles and these two cards look nine of pentacles is a person who can who can be little selfish but empress is someone who is generous who has so much to give because she has so much right so again the reason why you will have to first i feel like you will be taking this approach where you have to prioritize yourself you're not someone who is very selfish you're not you're not at all you're very selfless person and maybe that is the reason why many people might have taken advantage of you but now you're understanding where you need to give your energy who you need to give your energy you're not going to give your energy to someone who takes advantage of it you are you are going to protect yourself in that way by not shutting down you in the past you protected yourself by becoming someone else but now you're very aware now you know that you have to take care of yourself your your you are your utmost priority when you take care of yourself you will have so much to give to other people as well so you're coming in that energy that you can be you you can enjoy your life yet you can give the uh, give uh, the love light to other people as well but in order to give that love and light first we have to take care of ourselves so your first step will be taking care of yourself knowing the real you becoming that version and as you become your very again you know you're very generous you're very loving you're a very kind person and now that is what you're unlocking the real you so you can shine bright here yes okay so let's see you have to be like the like the four fox energy i'm getting you have to be shrewd like you have to be a little clever at this time now and you're using that Yes, yeah, someone is making you realize that you can be a little selfish for your own sake, because yeah, sometimes we have to be a little clever, and we have to be a little shrewd or something like that, like the fox energy I'm getting, and um, and that's what it is. And as you become like again, so you can as you take care of yourself, nurture yourself, you can realize your own gift. These all things will be very beneficial for other people as well. And as you understand yourself first, who you are again, because you have suppressed yourself uh, for a very long time. So as you uh, as you become, uh, you know, you align with your higher self, with your authentic self, uh, you will have to prioritize yourself for a for a for a period. Then, as you prioritize yourself, as you give all that love to yourself, as you shine, you can. Give it to other people as well. That's what I'm getting here. Something like that. 
Okay, <laughs> let's see what else here. So we have a uh, sleeping beauty dream. Oh, wow. Look, again, it feels like you have suppressed your dreams, your goals, because you had to adapt to other people's need. You let go of your, your own dreams. You let go of yourself somehow, somewhere. Not anymore. It's not anymore. Your dreams, uh, your goals, now you're going to focus on that. You're going to prioritize yourself. So some, someone is going to trigger something like that in you. Now that old life is going to fall apart where you adapted to other people, where you let go of your dreams. Now you're going to build your own dreams, your own goals. Little selfishness sometimes is required. So as you are becoming little selfish for a while, it's, it's good because you prioritize yourself, you take care of your goals, you grow. And as you get that, you know, you're going to get a lot of amazing results. As you get that results, you have so much to do in return so don't worry uh, to be selfish for a while because it's necessary for you guys so let's see we have yeah anticipation you know again um, we have look a bash bashfulness and anticipation so in your life you know that's why you kind of you anticipated those kinds of things right as a child because things were tough for you guys. For this group, something with your childhood, childhood trauma or past trauma, something were there. Something was there. So you were so afraid of that thing. You kind of anticipated like the same thing happened. Maybe you were out of that situation, but you anticipated like this will happen again. This will happen again. So you were, you were so afraid to let this, let the real you out. You even didn't realize that, right? But now, some someone or some situation will trigger you and you will understand how you have been suppressing the real side to come out because you were anticipating something bad will happen again and again and again something bad that happened in the past it might come again so you just kind of suppress that real view and you just adapt it and you will be seeing that very clearly and you're going to come out of it right yes that is the message here so let's see the final message group number three yellow dharma okay we have curiosity ah look again uh, we have this arrow and curiosity now you're not anticipating the worst you're being curious like what holds for me like what i need to know more about myself or where i have suppressed my dreams like something is going to be someone someone or something some situation is going to trigger something in you and you will not be able uh, to stop that like you will not you will be thinking about it like why I'm triggered why this is happening why this is resurfacing and then you will understand oh I, I just forgot I, I, I had this dream and I didn't uh, work on it because something happened I just suppressed it and now it's coming out it's coming out and you can see things very clearly you cannot close your eyes on that anymore and now you're going to focus on your goals your dreams your visions and as you do it it's going to grow and, and you will not anticipate the bad. It's ending. You're not going to anticipate the bad things that you anticipated before. You're going to let it go as well here. Yeah, that's what the message is for group number three. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. So group number four, you have been drawn to the Roman goddess of wealth and prosperity for Shuna. Let's see what blessings are coming your way. What is she going to be blessing you with? Group number four, um, Clairaudience. I'm getting the gift of Clairaudience for some of you. Uh, you, Yes, this is about a spiritual gift for some of you. So in the coming days, maybe you will be hearing some messages. It's from goddess for Shuna. So maybe this is an idea that you will be getting or it's a message or maybe when you are listening to a song you will feel like this is my message. Take that take that message seriously and if you feel like you need to take any action towards that thing, do that. Or maybe for some of you it will come out like a confirmation and if, if yeah and it, you will feel it like this is my message. So take it. Okay. So for some of you you have the gift of Claire audience as well. Uh, so trust your Trust the messages you're getting here. So in the coming days after viewing this video, I feel like maybe through a song, maybe something you will hear, 
or maybe you will be thinking something and someone will be talking about it so that will be your message from goddess fortuna okay so let's see group number four what is the blessing that is coming your way multiple opportunities so maybe for some of you you have lost something lost an opportunity and goddess fortuna is telling you don't worry there are multiple opportunities there is plenty fish in the sea they say like that's the energy here there is multiple so don't knock on the door that has been closed because there is multiple doors that are there for you guys so just change your perspective so maybe regarding that situation maybe there is a message that will be coming up in the coming uh, next few days you will be hearing that news okay some sort of information you will be getting okay so let's see uh, yeah wow look we have uh, yeah books and it feels like with this book you know i'm getting like a person who is just stick to one page reading that page just turn the page that's what there is there is so much more you can learn when you turn the next to turn to the next page it's like a person who is knocking on one door worrying whether this door will be not will be open or not just thinking overthinking when here we have lord krishna right again it feels like a divine is telling you there are multiple doors here for you guys maybe you're praying for one door to open and just don't knock on wood that door there is this book has multiple pages why are you just sitting in one page just turn turn the page turn to the next page you will get a different idea you will get a different perspective like that turn to the next door and there is multiple opportunities so let go of the stress and once you let go of that overthinking stress that's when you see like that's when you get into your personal power here so in the coming next few days maybe for some of you um there is a message that will pop up again and again if you're going to not take it seriously it will pop up again and again and again so maybe a song that you hear and there is a message and you're like oh is this my message you just doubt it then again somewhere you go and the same music plays same song plays Uh, please or maybe as i mentioned so you are thinking about something someone is talking about it so those kind of uh, you might label it as coincidence but it's not coincidence it's a message that you've been getting so some sort of news there is different opportunities for you guys here you are uh, you're looking at the it feels like you're looking at some sort of spilled milk and here you your uh, goddess fortune is telling like you are looking at the spilled milk look back there is one ton of milk there why are you looking at that spilled milk it's just gone now you cannot take it back it's gone so don't don't knock over that door don't just read that uh, page again and again no use turn it turn to the next chapter take your power back let go of this overthinking um, for some of you meditation is required at this time because you might be overthinking over stressing the same thing again and again and again if that is the case please break free from that that take your power back here look maybe calling upon lord krishna i'm getting like the, the divine presence is very strong for you guys divine is giving you signals messages signs maybe through number synchronicity and some sort of coincidences that you're seeing is not it's co coincidences here okay so let's see for some of you the message might come in the form of a book or maybe an article that you read or a poem that you read so let's see music as i mentioned mm, songs okay so let's see what is the blessing from goddess fortuna uh, for group number 4 okay you have the medicine of rainbow jaguar oh rainbow rainbow jaguar here yeah, rainbow after the rain comes the rainbow <laughs> so we have number 13 as well and number 13 is the death death number right in the tarot card the number 13 it talks about the endings right so something is ending because rainbow comes after the rain only so this situation this door has completely gone you are knocking on that door that will never open here because there are multiple doors so stop knocking on on that door look look like again you are just focusing on this one door knocking 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 it's not opening just turn over there are multiple doors you don't have to um struggle here you know i, I talked about like a, a fly that is struggling to get out of the window but once if he that fly gets out there is one huge uh, door that it can easily go outside but it's struggling to get out of the closed window here 
that's the energy here you got to end this overthinking end this thing yeah, end this thing that's it there is nothing for you there turn that page because there are multiple opportunities you are crying over spilled milk no need turn there is multiple opportunities so you need to change that and again uh, for some of your specific messages will come here what is it you will be very clear yeah it's time to end something a situation a chapter of your life is ended something is ended here you need to close the door you might be knocking on it again and again it's time to close nothing is there for you guys there yeah so portion of orders what else is the message we have unity and guidance wow we have the number 15 16 and the same uh, you know one thing is like these people have this torch right they have this fire it feels like the light is there someone is showing you the way again it's like a dark tunnel someone is showing you the way maybe you have been going a different way yes this person look in night like if you don't have the light you're just going the wrong way again and again and again and again again it feels like you have been uh, reading the same things again and again and again again that's not the thing you have to just turn it over and read something else like that you have been knocking on the same door again and again and again hoping that will do that will open and give you what you want but no it's not going to open it's not going to give you what you want there is a different path there is a different ro- uh, door waiting for you there is a different road that you have to travel there is a different different way of seeing things so the way you are seeing thing it's not going to give you what you want so yeah again there is something you want you're uh, knocking on this door again and again and again but it's not opening you're doing it again it's it has become exhausting it's tiring you're not getting in unity right again it feels like the unity here everyone is coming together this is leader giving other people guidance everyone is following that right uh, so again it can be like you're following what everyone is doing but that's not the path for you it might work for someone else but it's not working for you there is a different path for you guys that you will be given so one you have to get rid of the fears get rid of the overthinking so you can hear your own guidance so again i mentioned for you guys there is a message that is coming that will that will unite you with the things that you want with your wish that you want so there is something that you need to end stop doing what others are doing maybe it's working for others but it's not working for you one thing there is some sort of like again the guidance is going to be very clear in the coming days listen to it take action because this is going to lead you to the things that you want but in a different way not the way you think it is yeah so that's what the message is here for you guys so are you ready to let go of that stress and anxiety are you ready to uh, you know see a different view a different picture are you uh, are you ready to not struggle and you will see so uh, cultivating that patience calming yourself is very important at this time so you can hear this guidance very clearly so some of you as i mentioned through a song uh, th- maybe someone will talk about it you will get your message in the coming days that will be like a torch you will know where you need to go because you're going to shift the gears it's time to shift the gears it's sh- uh, time to shift the route here that it is time to do things differently because once you take that different approach you're going to get what you really want in a different way not in a way you think in a different way Okay so let's see what's my goddess message here you need to calm your heart you are really stressed i feel like that you're not listening to your heart you're overthinking a lot of things that's why you're knocking on the door that is not opening and you're getting the same results again and again and again and again yeah you yeah. so let's see Yeah we have princess of cups again princess of cups she is very connected to her heart she is playful yet she is very very connected to her heart she does what her heart says her heart is her guide 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 right she listens to her heart because she is not listening to what others are telling she is listening to her or her, her own heart she is very intuitive as well So this is like a guidance that you will be receiving from your heart as i mentioned in a form of a song relics uh, for some of you this is a message that you will be you will be hearing something or maybe this is this through a song listen to it take action this is a different approach that you have not taken 
the, yeah this kind of approach maybe you haven't done this is something new for you guys this is a different way of thinking different uh, this is like a perception shift is happening it's viewing things differently but that is going to take you where you want to go in a different way okay so let's see wow that will take to your victory guys this is going to take you to what's victory with the six of one there is something that you want to accomplish there is a wish of yours that you want to accomplish there is a dream that you want to accomplish that is very 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 close to your heart but no matter how hard you try with this hand man things are not working things are looking like in delay uh, but again the hand man has hand man has one more approach it's it's in a different view it sees things in a different view this is high time you will to see things in a different view you have been seeing things in a way um, that is not giving you anything there is a different route there is a different way so the guidance is going to come here that will lead to to your success victory but you have to listen to your heart so you have to uh, break free from that overthinking stress anxiety meditation as what is required so you can take that control back so don't let the emotions control you you control your emotions that's very important okay so that's when you're going to see a different picture and that is what is going to lead to your victory this is about something that you want to achieve in your life and no matter how hard you try you're not coming in unity with it because that's not the approach the approach that you are taking is not the approach that's why you're not receiving that's why you're getting the same results there is a different way of thinking there is a different to both for you guys so be open to it yeah okay so let's see what else from goddess fortuna yeah wow yeah this is something that you have been working really really hard on look this moon dance you have been taking risk as well and there is like you have been it feels like you have been going down like you slip then you come back but this is not the way to balance there is a different approach so you can reach the other side no matter how hard you try how hard you work how much you give effort there is you are struggling you are struggling you are not getting your victory because there is a different way here and that different way will be shown to you guys so please you need to change your mindset regarding something you need to shift your gears you need to shift your perspective here some maybe for some of you it's like a, a, a limited belief is there that only hard work pay off pays off i have to work this much hours to get this thing maybe that's not the approach maybe that's what needs to change it there is a belief that's so strong in you that is giving you the results that you don't want so once you take a different view again there is some sort of guidance that is coming as i mentioned in the coming days there will be very very it, this guidance is going to come to you in your heart and once you take that approach you will understand how this limited belief has been stopping you from getting the success that you wanted but once you sh shift that gears once you change it right once you change that path you're going to see that thing happening in a very easy way the same thing that you wanted when you're taking a different a different approach it's going to happen easily for you guys so this is like about, about a belief system that is actually block, blocking your success and goddess fortuna is going to show you the way here okay a different approach different way of thinking like light you got to trust your heart so okay so let's see what is fortuna's message we have yeah oh my god i'm seeing stubbornness for you guys with this ram here yes you're very determined you're very stubborn yes i want this thing i want this thing i'm going to achieve it i'm going to achieve it. i have to work hard i have to work hard i will do it this way this way this way like i'm just going to knock the door until it opens until it opens oh my god you're struggling you're struggling you're struggling and the door is not opening you're so stubborn like maybe this is not the door maybe i just need to walk few steps there is that door i need to go that that's the thing here and she will show you that very very clearly here okay <laughs> so let's see the final message for group number 4 group number 4 final message 
Yeah, again, this is something, again, you know, there is this people, some people are doing that and it might be working for them, but it's, that is not for you. That is not for you. This is a different approach for you that will be shown here. So don't do what others are doing. You will know exactly what is best for you. Okay. Yes, vision. Look, and, and there is a vision that is going to be shown to you guys. There is a direction, there is guidance, there is a different road for you to get the same thing that you're trying to get in a different way. Like in a different way, the same thing will come to you, but not the way that you are taking now. It's a different, it's completely different. You're struggling now. You don't have to struggle this much. There is this vision that is going to be store, uh, shown for you guys. And again, the eagle flies above, right? It doesn't, uh, the eagle is only bothered by the crows, right? Uh, they bite the neck of the eagle. The eagle doesn't bother to fight back. It just flies high altitude and the crows don't survive there. It's like that. There is this vision that is, that is going to give you the results in a different way. But if you are being going to be bothered by the crows, you're going to stay there only, right? So you have to fly high. You have to take a different approach here. A different way, a different way of doing things. Guidance will be given to you guys. Follow that. And the same thing that you want, that you're trying so hard to get, you, maybe you don't have to try this hard. That is the blessing for you guys, okay? So that's the message your eyes received from Goddess Fortuna for group number four. Hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.